say now may lead may not be you know related to the competition it may lead to deduction of my marks but you know what marks doesn't matter for me the thing which matters is a feeling which you will get inside your heart that is everlasting after listening my poem so have you ever wondered why i always speak this type of poem means the poem based on patriotism more over on our army can't i go for love affection care and blah 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 why there's a reason behind there is a story behind i know i'm not going to say the whole story because it's time consuming but in one incident one instance and mark it's not a fictitious one it's very close to my heart and a real one there was my friend named aman he lived in my village means in uttarakhand he is about a half year older than me so whenever i went to my village i used to visit his house his house is full of trophies and medals which his father has got as a bravery award from i and a that is indian national army his father was an army officer no no he didn't retire rather he got martyred in a rus he used to like the patriotism which i have in my heart and he always gives his son the example of mine but his son he ignore all this he is a like to become a soldier he is a like this job cause he don't want to say his life for just our country and his father said he wants that one day i will change your mindset there is one part of him means one part of army which he always told me that i will come I will come definitely, either by hosting a flag or being grabbed in it. The last time when I met him, he was packing his bag for Jammu and Kashmir. Before going, he sent me one thing. कि प्रतीक जब इस बार आऊँगा तो तेरे लिए कुछ खास लेके आऊँगा जिससे बहुत खुश हो जाएगा. But he lied. I was not happy at all. So I just wanted to dedicate my this poem to him. That wherever he is, think wherever he is, from wherever he is listening, uncle, this poem is dedicated for you. Here we go. I was never a boy, which people used to see. At age of eleven only, I decided what I wanted to be. Then I became eighteen years old and ready to fight. I seemed so tough, but I cried at night. I read the letters in a room alone. I get so teary when I see the word. I do not get enough sleep most nights. Then I remember the hugs you gave me, mom and dad, which were very tight. Tears were rolling down on her cheeks. When she was listening, the words he wrote. His father sat on the table with a lump in his throat. The letter was a stain mixed with both blood and sand. It was a letter from his son, which came from far away. The letter said, "Mom and Dad, I cannot bear the pain. My body feels a stone heavier. No, it's not the emotion filled heart of losing my love. No, it's the grief which has filled my heart. It's the fifty-two bullets which has torn me apart." Mom and Dad, the pain I cannot stand from this bullet that ripped this young man. The pain was so bad that it makes me scream and cry. I know I will not see you again. I know that I'm going to die. But there's one thing I must say before God calls me home. Don't worry about me anymore. No, I'm not alone. I know that there will be days. I know that there will be days when you both will sit and cry. I know that there will be days when you both will wonder why. But the reason is, mom and dad, this is what I signed up to, so that our country can stay free and true. A man I was born, a martyr I'll die. I just wanted to see my flag flying. Don't worry, I'll not die like this. I will prove my blood first, and if death will come in front of me, I will kill that death and prove my blood first. Mom and Dad, I must go now. Things are starting to fade. No, I'm not alone. No, I'm afraid. But before God calls me home, there's one thing I must say. But before God calls me home, there's one thing I must say. I thought of you all each and every day. The medic is <laughs> trying to keep me alive and ease my pain. But you know what? All these efforts, I think, are going in vain. Yeah, all these efforts are going in vain. Mom and Dad, I must go. This is the time God says so. I love you all and miss you. This is the last letter which I wrote for you. I don't want medals. I don't want pension. I just want you to be remembered as the bravest person. So this was my poem, the last letter. But yeah, before going, I just want to continue with that instance which I said before. My poem. Last year on November 16, I went to my village again for attending my cousin brother's marriage. So I visited his house again. Same house, same medals, 
same promise, but this time we were much more brighter. Same face of that widow, but this time it was much more brighter. I asked aunt, auntie, where is Aman? And the reply which I got makes my goosebumps. She said that he is practicing for a lieutenant cadet in IMA, that is Indian Military Academy. And for your knowledge, I just want to tell you that it is India's one of the largest and most prestigious military academy. The boy, the boy who doesn't want to become a soldier, who doesn't want to risk his life, is now being becoming a lieutenant cadet. His father kept his words that one day I will change your mindset. But no one knows that this can cost this much. Thank you, my gentlemen.